wow, Apple just made the most brilliant move in its history. Forget the iPhone, forget Apple Music, forget Apple TV, forget the 1984 Macintosh ad. We shall prevail. This is the single best move Apple has ever made. But in order to understand why the Apple savings account is so important, you have to have a little bit of insight into the banking industry and the genius retention play that they just made. But before I get into it, hit the subscribe button. It helps push this video to more people on the YouTube algorithm, and it will help share with them the information they need to know before they sign up for the Apple savings account. Okay, so before you go and sign up for Apple's new shiny toy, you need to understand exactly what they've done. And I'm gonna tell you right now, from a banking perspective, this is pure genius, but not for the reasons that you might think. Because as a consumer, you may be thinking, hey, they just made it easier for me to save money. And at a rate of 4.15%, which is among the highest savings account rates in the industry. And a lot of the media is suggesting that this is a FinTech play and that Apple is going to disrupt the banking industry. And while that may be true in the short term, that's not why they've introduced the Apple savings account. No, the reason why is so, so genius. And I'll get to that in a second, but first let's just go over the basics. As of right now, you can get an Apple card and that card acts as a credit card, which you can use to make purchases using tap on your Apple wallet. And as of right now, Apple controls 48% of the digital wallet market. Now, in exchange for using the Apple card, you got one to 3% back as a rebate, which is not uncommon in the credit card industry. But the cool thing about that one to 3% was it ended up back on your phone in the form of a cash account. And that was the first piece of the puzzle. But as of this week, now that cash back is going to be applied to your Apple savings account if you sign up for it. And the deposits on that account up to $250,000, which probably not coincidentally is the amount of deposits that are insured earn that 4.15% rate, which like I said, is one of the best interest rates when it comes to savings accounts in the US. In fact, it is 0.15% higher than the savings account that you can get at Goldman Sachs. And by the way, Goldman Sachs is the bank that is supporting this endeavor. So not only is the Apple savings account one of the most convenient, and one of the highest rate savings accounts in the industry, but it's also got some major benefits to Apple and not necessarily you, the consumer, which is what makes this move so brilliant. So in order to understand the brilliance of this move, you have to understand a little bit about banking and specifically what banks do in order to keep you as a client because the banking industry has one of the highest retention rates of any industry in the world. And banks know exactly what the likelihood of you staying with their organization is based on the number of products that you have. Most consumers will stay with a bank for 18 months if they have one product. If they have two products, that goes up to four years. And if they have three products, it goes up to seven years. But there's more to this story because there is a holy grail of banking products that has on average a 16 year retention rate. And you can probably guess what that is. Yes, that's right, it is the savings account. The savings account is the holy grail of banking. If a bank can get your savings account, they've probably got you for life, assuming that they don't screw something up. Now think of what this means for Apple, because they've clearly spent the last 20 years building an ecosystem around their clients. It started with the iPhone, it moved to the Apple TV, and now if you are a consumer that owns an Apple product, there's a high likelihood that you own several and that a significant amount of your daily activities are linked to Apple's ecosystem. So now take that one step further and add a credit card to it, which has a significant amount of convenience, but not a ton of brand loyalty, and then attach that to a savings account, which has a high interest rate and a ton of brand loyalty. And then think about what happens when somebody goes to buy a new phone, a new computer, a new TV, a new tablet, and how having that high retention product of a savings account associated to that ecosystem is going to play into their decision making. Yes, Apple just cracked the code on consumer retention. And now the game for Apple simply becomes to get as many people into the ecosystem as possible, eventually get them signed up for a savings account, and then it's game over. They've got you for life, which is what makes the Apple savings account the most brilliant move they have ever made. Oh, and if you live in Canada or many other countries in the world, I've got bad news for you. It appears that the Apple savings account for now, at least, is only going to be available in the US.